guys, Jennifer here, and I'm here to share with you my design team project for Ooh La La Vintage Treasures. This is going to be the uh, set that I am going to give away for my summer challenge giveaway. And this is just one of the two items, but I had mentioned that I would be giving away my next design team project, and so I wanted to share that with you. I used the Chateau Holiday Kit from Ooh La La Vintage Treasures to make the journal, and then I used the Christmas Kit from last year to create these two items. So, so pretty. So for um, these dies here, I used this Polka Doodles die I got last year off of Create and Craft, I believe. But I just love these... Uh, poinsettias they're so pretty so poinsettia lace and they sure do look like lace but anyway let's start with the CD case this was inspired by Susie creative cafe girl here on YouTube she did a tutorial on these last year and then the file folder was inspired by um, Lori girl on the ridge now of course these these have been around for a long time. Everybody knows that. But a lot of times, you know, we see somebody bring something back and it inspires us to create it. And so I like to give credit for that. Um, these have been, you know, altered file folders around for a long time. But it's um, always fun to be inspired again with something old and, and then put a new twist on it. So anyway, enough about that. That's what I love about this crafty community. We're always inspiring each other. All right, let's get into this. So you can see here I have used some cheesecloth in the background, some lace trim. I did these beautiful die cuts. Oh, I also have this die as well. Let me show you that. So I used this one as the holly spruce and I use both um, these and these in the background. So I just wanted to share that with you. And then I use this word joy here. I stamped that. There's some lace trim in the background. And then I use some flat back pearls. This um, was cut out of the Prima Santa Baby paper. Love these macarons. And then uh, some lace trim here, seam binding. And then on the back, I just reinforced it here with some paper and a little die cut. And I did um, tea dye these and then sewed around the edge just to reinforce it to make sure that it stays together. And then I followed the tutorial from Susie and I made a little notepad here. And I sewed around the back there, made a little strip there to cover the sewing because it's like it's folded over you can see there's like one eighth of an inch and this pretty lace and some rhinestone pieces there so super cute and I put it in there so that you will see a pretty image through the circle part there and then this beautiful file folder um, I did do some tea dyeing, some gesso, some stamping, and um, I did sew around that. This is a half file folder. I layered a couple of doilies here, and then this little piece was in the kit from last year. So that folds open, and then you can tuck your supplies in there. I did um, some cheesecloth in the background, music paper, some paper from the Santa Baby Prima Collection. There was a napkin in the kit and I did do some uh, decoupaging on there. Super pretty. Okay. And then you can see I did some cheesecloth, music paper, word joy there, this pretty little applique piece, and this was part of lace trim that was included in the kit. So those two are, go together, as, and I think this really complemented it well. Just love this together, it's so pretty. This is from this year's Chateau Holiday kit from Ooh La La Vintage Treasures. 
I will leave both of the links to the kit reveals to those below in case you wanted to see what was in it. This is a really pretty piece that Doreen included in the kit and I attached it to some sari silk here. This pretty bow to close the journal was uh, included in, or this trim I guess was included in the rack that I received from Lacey Coelho. I will leave her YouTube channel below. I just thought that perfectly complemented this and you can see in these flowers, it just picks that up really well. And then it goes so well with this uh, file folder. So pretty. And then I just did a small little collaging here. There's a die cut that was included and it was punched out of some wallpaper. I tore a little piece of the guest check back here, some of the trim that she included, music paper, cheesecloth. And then this real pretty material was also in the kit. All right, let's go ahead and open this. On the back, I used the Prima Pretty Pale paper. That's the papers that she used this year, and it's very neutral, and it complements everything, which I think looks great. And I did some sewing with pink thread. So, you can see the binding is stitched there with some pink. And open that up. And on the inside, I cut some of the paper down to make a little side pocket. I used a pink thread to sew everything. And here I have some journaling cards. This journaling card is from My Porch Prints. This is just a Tim Holtz tag. I did some stamping here. I used this Spectrum Noir metallic pigment ink in blush. It's so pretty, you guys. It gives like a metallic pink finish. Oops, so I used some old stamps that I had. And I have them, uh, I think I stamped throughout. Here's some pink avocado dyed paper. And here's some lace that Doreen included. I added on the edge. Tea dyed paper. And then here I made like a little cluster side tuck using some of the lace, the pink guest check, cheesecloth music sheets, and then I did a little ruffle there and added some trims. Then I added a little journaling card and I made this tag from the paper. And to make that tag, I used a Stampin' Up Punch. It is a Stampin' Up! Tag Punch, and it is new this year, but I just thought it was super cute to have that tag topper, so I made several tags throughout this journal with that. I added some lace trim there, and then here I used the fabric that Doreen included in the kit to make a little ruffle piece there, same as here. Put that on the edge. And this is from Artie Mays, this uh, little check. And then this is another stamp there. Here on this doily, I added some cheesecloth and the die cut that Doreen included. Super pretty, and then just a little tree punch. On this paper, I did make a ruffle, paper ruffle, with the paper the Prima paper. I love that you can see it from both sides there. And then on this, um, I guess it's a bag, I added this little tiny um, glassine bag there and I made two skinny tags. And then I did a little punch there to be like the Hole reinforcer. Um, these images are from Shabby Dabby Duda. And then this is from Luisa Diaz. She has a, a store 
a blog where she sells. I'll leave all that information below, hopefully. I can remember all that. And then here's another one of the tags that I made. And then I did punch out a little bow. This is um, an old Stampin' Up! bow die. And in here I just put this telegram paper for journaling. This was included in the Chateau Holiday kit. Another stamp there. Then I added some of this pretty trim lace that she had. Another stamp. And then I did uh, this pink envelope. I decorated it with this die cut that Doreen included. It is a window die that was she cut out of wallpaper. And I made a little curtain and I added this punch that was in the kit as well. And then this was from my stash, this Peace, Love, and Happiness, and this little trim that has the sparkly bits at the bottom. It's so cute. I did sew this uh, pocket together right while, it's, while the journal was together. I didn't take it apart or anything um, because uh, that was already done for me. And so I just was able to sew it while it was in the book. I added some lace trim and I did some fabric collaging here, all little bits. Here's another tag with some sari silk. And so I sewed the pocket shut because this is an envelope, you know, upside down to make a little pocket. Then I added some stars in the middle with some glitter paper. So that looks so cute. All right. And then on this pocket, I just added some lace trim here and some lace there. And then this is a tag. Add some pink lace that was in the kit. And then on this side, I added a lace pocket. And this is an image from Irala Mini House Shop. Another paper ruffle. And then I uh, was inspired by Irene. She made these really pretty um, hidden paper clip. She was um, inspired by several people. Um, so, but she did do a tutorial on this. It's a paper clip that is made from this paper that was in the Chateau Holiday kit. And then I just collaged the front and sewed around there. I did have to reinforce this paper because it was a little thin. And then um, I used uh, some avocado dyed paper on the inside. And then you can write a little hidden message and stick that right in there. And then this is another tag made with that Stampin' Up! punch. And then on this side of the bag, I added another bow. And then this tag is from my porch prints. And then uh, with one of the catalog cards. I just altered it a little bit, added some that fabric ruffle trim and some of the music paper. I sewed around it and then you can journal on the inside. And then on the other side of the doily I did pretty similar. Another die cut of the snowflake and then a star punch. And then on here I did like a double, I just folded over this paper. I had like a one inch strip left and made like a little tuck spot, flag tuck spot. Another one of those tags. There's a little stamp at the bottom. 
the other side of the check. Tracing paper. Here's more of the lace from Ula La Vintage Treasures. And then here is a little tag. This is also from my porch prints. And then um, I just tuck that under there like that. And then on this side, I altered one of the, uh, the pink coin envelope that was included. And then she had another tree punch, so I just decorated the tree, put little presents under there, little bow up here. There's a guest check, and then you can barely see, but I did use a little piece of the Tim Holtz um, tissue paper underneath there. And then I did put the rest of the ruffle there, and you can tuck in something special there. And then in the uh, other side of the back page, I did another little tuck there. And then this is from Shabby Gabby Duda. This image. All right, guys, so this is my design team project for Ooh La La Vintage Treasures, as well as my giveaway winning. So I hope that you enjoyed that, and stay tuned, guys. I will be back soon.